With the start of the SAT examination season upon us, this summertime is a great opportunity if you are seriously looking to get that bullseye on your SAT. To help you utilize this time in the most efficient manner, we've come up with a few tips and tricks that have been proven highly effective to help you step toward your target score. Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Valois and I welcome you to the Test Prep Cart channel. Today, I'll be providing you with hacks and tips to help you succeed when writing your SAT. Here are the topics I'll be going over in today's video. A. How is the SAT organized? B. What do exam makers do and how can we use that understanding to our advantage? And C. A few tips and tricks proven to help you successfully write your SAT. A. How is the SAT organized? The SAT contains 154 multiple choice questions and assesses students' abilities in reading, writing, and mathematics. And it lasts 180 minutes in length, excluding breaks. Students will be given 65 minutes to complete 52 questions on the reading and comprehension section, which tests your reading and critical thinking skills. 35 minutes to complete the 44 questions in the writing and language section, based on grammar, punctuation, some vocabulary, and content. 25 minutes to complete the 20 questions in the math without a calculator section, based off a deep understanding of algebra and knowledge of interpreting graphs, tables, and charts. And lastly, 55 minutes to complete the 38 questions on the math with a calculator section that also focuses on algebra and interpreting data. B. What do the exam makers do? And how can you use this understanding to your advantage? I'm not gonna tell you how you should prepare for your SAT, but it goes without saying that you should be trying to understand the game. By practicing old SAT exams and resources available on College Board and Khan Academy, to name a few, you'll become familiar with how the SAT is structured year after year. The actual content to study will be internalized through osmosis as you study your courses during the school year, but the experience of knowing how questions are worded is going to give you important leverage that will help you better understand how to answer the questions and save you precious time. It's like getting in the brain of the test writer. If the SAT were like playing a football game, well, practicing old exams would be like preparing by better understanding your opposition. This way, you develop a game plan and a strategy rather than simply just chasing a ball all over the field. And similarly to a football game, you have to develop a positive attitude and approach to this exam. I've seen so many students let fear and uncertainty get the best of them in thinking that this exam defines their intelligence, their value, and their future. That's not true. Take a deep breath and block out that negative way of thinking. Confidence and trust in oneself are the most important assets that you can develop as you prepare for the exam and while you actually sit down and write it. Take it from me, don't waste your precious energy on bringing yourself down. And now we arrive at C, a few tips and tricks proven to help you successfully write your SAT. Number one, how to crack the multiple choice questions. Firstly, manage your time. If you don't know how long let's say 65 minutes lasts or feels like, well, prepare by writing your practice exams while respecting a timer. This will help you start to innately know how long it will take you to get through the time portions of the test. Also, this will help you become more selective to know how much time you should spend on certain questions and how much time you have left in the bank to review certain answers. This test is assessing your ability to execute under pressure. So make sure you prepare by being effective in this manner. Next tip number two, nullify the wrong answers first. You may not know the correct answer, but you may recognize wrong answers. Scratch them out. Additionally, you could write a symbol next to the options in any given multiple choice question. Examples, write a check next to an option you like, write a squiggly line next to an option you kind of like, put a question mark next to an option you don't understand, or cross out the letter of any option that you know is wrong. This way, when you're reviewing your answers, your past self will have helped out your future self and allowed you to capitalize on the time you spent thinking about that answer instead of having to start all over again. Number three, the process of elimination. This is so crucial. You have to play the multiple choice game because you might not know what the correct answer is, but you may know which options are wrong, so eliminate them. 
The process of elimination allows you to eliminate one or two, maybe even three options for each question, which means that you're increasing your chances of getting the answer correct. Number four, what's the letter of the day? The SAT will not penalize you for guessing an answer, so this means you should have always selected one, even if it means guessing one at random. Now, when guessing, always choose the same letter. Example, B. Why? Because statistically, you will have a 25% chance of correctly answering questions you have no idea how to answer. This is sometimes called the letter of the day strategy. Five, pace yourself. There are many questions with little time to complete them all. It may be a wise strategy to focus on, let's say, four of the five readings and trying your best to answer them as correctly as you can instead of focusing on all five readings and not having enough time to review at the end. Therefore, slowing down and concentrating on specific parts of the exam and having the time to review at the end may be more advantageous than rushing through the whole thing. In sum, slow down, score more. You're not graded on how many questions you do, you're graded on how many questions you answer correctly. Doing fewer questions may mean more correct answers overall. And for the rest of the questions, you can apply the letter of the day rule. And our last tip, number six, personal order of difficulty. Determine which questions are the easy ones versus the hard ones and finish the easy ones first. Your goal is to have as many answers you feel most confident about completed. Return to the harder questions at the end if you still have time. And if you can't find an answer, just apply the letter of the day rule. All right, that's it. I sincerely hope that these tips and tricks help you with gearing up for your SAT preparation. Also, to keep it easier for you to access, we have prepared an SAT ebook, which includes all relevant information related to the SAT and the tips and tricks to help boost your preparation. The link to download the SAT ebook can be found shared in the description box down below. And if you're facing any problems related to the SAT syllabus, feel free to connect with the test prep cart team as we're here to help you ace your exams. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and to connect with us, check out the link shared in the description box down below. Take care and best of luck preparing for your SATs.